Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advanced Paper 1 Physics in the year 2019. This question was from the topic of thermodynamics based on a, a multiple choice correct scheme and I can tell you that this was the easiest question in whole paper. Almost all the students uh, you know, in India, if they have ever studied physics or thermodynamics would have done this question. So basically this was a diagram that was also given in the question. You can see this, this is a cycle, thermodynamic cycle and VT diagram has been given and we were based upon that diagram, we were asked some of the options. The gas was monatomic and one more of the gas was taken over here, <coughs> right? So uh, work done in the cycle ratio of heat transfers in the process 1, 2, 2, 3 and uh, the type of processes and similar types of question was asked. Now, if you see this cycle carefully, from 1 to 2, if you see, ratio of V by T is constant. At point 1, V by T is V0 by T0. And at point 2 also, the ratio is 2 V0 by 2 T0. That is again V0 by T0. So if V by T is constant on any, um, in any process, that means it's a isobaric process because we know PV equals to NRT. So if V by T becomes constant, then this simply means pressure is constant. So we can say that 1, 2 was isobaric process. 2, 3 is clearly isochoric, volume is constant. Same logic for 3, 4 we can apply. If you see at point 3 as well as 4, V by T is constant. And hence, this was also isobaric. And 4 to 1 again is isochoric. So predominantly, there are two types of processes being uh, here. Like um, uh, in the question, there are two types of processes, isobaric and isochoric. So here, this is isobaric P constant. This is also P constant. And the remaining two are isochoric. Now, if we talk about the uh, Q12, Q12 will be simply N Cp delta T. Right? N is 1. Monatomic ke liye Cp is 5R by 2. And delta T, you can see from 2 to 1 is 2 T0 minus T0. So it becomes T0. Q23, if we talk about Q23 ki value kya aegi? Q23 is simply again N C V delta T. N is 1. C V kitna hai monotomic 3R by 2. Delta T will be T0 se 2, 2 T0 se T0. That means minus T0. Right? Then again Q34 if we talk about N C P delta T. C P is 5R by 2. Delta T is T0 by 2 from T0. That means minus T0 by 2. Right. And Q41 is isochoric. N C V delta T 4 say 1. So get no jagati not by 2. Right. Now if you go back to options, work done in this cycle. So for any cyclic process, the total sum of the he uh, Q is also W. So if you add it up, so let's quickly add it up. 5R by 2 T naught, and this is 5R by 2 T naught by 2. This is 3R by 2 T naught by 2. So if you add Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 plus Q4. This will be is equals to 5R by 2T0 and this is 5R by 2T0 by 2. So this and this will become 5R by 2T0 by 2. Okay. Plus this and this will become 3R by 2 minus T0 by 2. So this will become minus 3R by 2T0 by 2. Correct. So this is 5RT0 minus 3RT0, that means 2RT0 by 4, that means this is RT0 by 2, right? So option A is correct. If we talk about option B, the ratio of heat transfers during 1, 2 and 2, 3. So 1, 2 is this and 2, 3 is this. So if you take the ratio, magnitudes we have to talk about, so minus sign will be ignored. T0, T0 will get cancelled, uh, R by 2, R by 2 will also get cancelled, 5 is 2, 3 is correct. This is the correct option. The above thermodynamic cycle exhibits only isochoric and adiabatic. This is wrong because it exhibits isochoric and isobaric. The ratio of heat transfers during the process 1, 2 and 3, 4 is half. 1, 2 is this and 3, 4 is this. So it's not half, it's actually 2 because you know this is T0 and this is T0 by 2. So actually it will become 2. So I have to be like slightly careful over here. This is also wrong. Okay. Hence this solves the question. 
in this question we can also draw the pv diagram that is also one way out so just for the you know uh, more learning elaborate learning i'll also draw the pv diagram although i believe this was the faster method but yes let's draw the pv diagram as well so if uh, so we have already identified the processes so if you draw the pv diagram of this okay so if we start from point 1 and go to point 2 so if you start from point 1 go to point 2 this was isobaric process the temperature was doubled isobarically so if you double the temperature for isobarically then it's obvious that volume will also be doubled as you can see over here that means from 1 to 2 this would have been the thing let's say the pressure was p not at point 1 let's call pressure as p not here so this is value will be p not okay and this volume will be v not and this volume will be 2 v not right from 2 to 3 uh, it's isochoric process and the temperature has been halved you can see so if you half the temperature isochorically then pressure will also be halved right so if that means we will come down and pressure will become p naught by 2 that means at this point pressure would have become p naught by 2 right so this is our point 3 from 3 to 4 again we are moving at constant pressure and uh, temp and the volume has been halved right so constant pressure volume is halved so constant pressure volume is halved that means from 2 v naught so we will go back to v naught so this is point number 4 and from 4 to 1 isochorically we have doubled the temperature that means pressure will also be doubled so that means we will go back to point number one so this is the cycle this completes the cyclic and this is the uh, rectangle which we get in the uh, para, uh, which we get in the pv graph the area of this will also represent the work so i hope you would have enjoyed the solution that's all thank you